All right, let's go live. I'm making some stuffed butternut squash today. Let me show you. There it is. It's another cleanse recipe from Anthony Williams in his uh, Cleanse to Heal book. And it just looks so good. I thought I got <laughs> I gotta make this. So I went ahead and cooked the butternut squash earlier. So it has been baked for 50 minutes. And now I'm going to do the, the stuffing. So I've got the stove going over on this side. Got my skillet. And we'll go ahead and start. So, of course, we're going to start with the onion. And I just got it medium high. Medium high heat. So we'll cook this for a few minutes. Yeah, so that'll take a minute. Today's been an interesting day. Our mattress came today. In fact, we were making it and I gotta get this feather. <laughs> we were just making the new bed. And um, we just spent half an hour getting the screen door out because I'm going to fix the screen door. So it's got a it's got a little tear in it. Put this behind here. I'll show you here. So this is the screen door, and there's the tear. So I'm going to put the whole the whole screen in. I'm going to try to do it anyway. YouTube. <laughs> we'll see. I got a little kit with the screen door and the, the spline and the little tool that you push the spline in the screen. So it's a little tricky. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one. So we'll see how I do. It's worth a try. All right. So... Up to speed here. Get my spatula. And maybe bring this heat up a little. So I think I'm supposed to do this to soften the onion. Hi, Annette. How you doing, girl? Let's see. It's eight, is it eight o'clock there? Are we still four hours apart, or is it different? No, it's no different. Because you change your time, don't you? <laughs> I would just, yeah. Good. I'm making the stuffed butternut. Hi, Kiefer. Yep, the stuffed butternut squash. Ooh, 7 o'clock. Where are you, Kiefer? On the East Coast somewhere. Michigan. That's right. When we bicycled across Michigan, we did the Upper Peninsula, came down across the bridge, had to put the bikes in a truck. And then we were asking everybody, what side of Michigan should we ride down? Should we go down the east side or the west side? And nobody knew. And it's so obviously the west side. I don't understand. And of course, we picked the east side. So we headed down to the east side until the crook of the thumb. And then we, we came straight down to avoid Detroit. Hey, Jennifer. Oh, you and Je Sebastian are heading to the park. That's great. Enjoy. And the baby. <laughs> I'm just cooking up this stuff squash. Oh, you're going to get on the bikes. All right. Does that mean Todd's home? West side is good, but if you ride along the lake, your chain ring suffers from sand. That's true. 
That's true. We had no chain ring problems. Yeah, I, I think it will. I mean, just butternut squash by itself is yummy. So how can I go wrong here? Okay, so this is browning up nicely. Yay, that's great. So we got some onions going here. We got some onions going on. So then after three, five minutes, we're going to add garlic, carrots, mushrooms, and celery. So garlic. Where's my light here? Garlic. Oh, that's on the outside. Carrots. Celery. I kind of over overdid the mushrooms, but you can't ever have enough mushrooms. That, that's the stuff. Of the I'll put a little bit of water in there. I mowed the lawn today and Edgar mowed the middle lawn, which is, it's too high for my electric mower. So he mowed it with his gas mower. So I got the lawn all done. We've got the new mattress. And we also got a Berkey water machine. That's supposed to come tomorrow. I got arsenic filters. They're coming today. And that's going to be our new drinking system. Okay. You need something, honey? Uh, the straight or you put them in? They're in the fridge. Yeah. Yours? Yeah. So we'll, no, yours. Because they're community tomatoes. Yeah, now this is getting moisture. Yes, wait till the mushrooms are looking good. And then I think I'll turn the oven on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to do this until it's done. And then I've got rice cauliflower that I've got in the food processor. And I think I'm gonna am I gonna put that in. Oh okay, no, I'm not gonna cook the cauliflower rice. That's gonna stay raw. <laughs> hey Gina, good to see you here. And Linda McNamara. Hi Linda. I'm eating both raw and cooked now after 18 days of the cleanse, which was raw. So I did raw since July. The cooked squash is for me. <laughs> it is easy, Kiefer. Yummy, yummy to the mushrooms. Bye, Jennifer. Hey, Gina, are we going to fast this month? Actually, you and and uh, Jennifer have already done it, so I guess you're all done for November. So Stephen and I will we'll probably do something, at least a 24-hour, maybe our usual 36-hour. Okay, I think this is done. I think I'll put it in a bowl. And then I'm going to add the 
cauliflower to it. And then I'm going to stuff the butternut squash with it. I don't know why it's so glary over there. It's getting dark, though. It's that time of day. So add the cauliflower rice to the vegetable mushroom mixture together with dried thyme, date syrup, chopped parsley, and lemon juice. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. So here's my rice cauliflower. So good. I really enjoy it. I got some frozen rice cauliflower from Costco once. And it was, you know, once you freeze it and thaw it, then it's, it, there's no, there's nothing to it, which is fine for some recipes. But when you want to have it crunchy, I like it with, when it's, when it's raw. I found that I like a lot of things raw. I had my slaw salad for lunch today and I whipped up a salad dressing made out of cucumber, uh, Grape tomatoes, garlic, an orange, and some water. It was really good. Okay, so I need some dried thyme, half a teaspoon. This I didn't see. For some reason, I missed this. Probably because I got involved in getting that that uh, sliding door out. It took both Steve and I together to get it out. You know, Keeper, I don't think I'm going to do anything special for Thanksgiving. Oh, Gina. Okay. All right. I'll let you know. And let me know what sounds good to you. Okay. So there's a half a teaspoon of thyme. And then he uses uh, maple syrup, but I'm just going to use my date that I blend up with water. I just make this. I just put dates and, and fill them with, put water up to the, cover the dates and then let them soak for a while and then blend them. So I need... A half a tablespoon. There we go. My oven's up to speed. Okay, there's a half a tablespoon and then some parsley and some lemon juice. Tablespoon, oh, for garnish, okay. And is the lemon juice, maple syrup, chopped parsley. Oh, mix them in, okay. Mix it in. Chop it up a little bit more. Does he use a tablespoon? That doesn't seem like enough. Well, I'll do it. I'll do all of it. That. And half a lemon should be fine. I might turn that burner off, but I guess I didn't. You doing anything special for Thanksgiving, Kiefer? Well, Stephen and I eat so different. And he likes what he's making himself right now. So, and I like what I'm making me. <laughs> it's just the two of us. All right. Let's get this mixing. 
Here, let me let me show you what I'm doing here. Here we go. And then we'll just mix this. Mix well. And then we're gonna stick this all in the in the butternut squashes. And then you bake them up for 10 minutes and serve them. I wonder if Stephen will want to try any of this. So I had major gas today. Things have been pretty quiet in the microbiome the last couple of days. Um, too quiet. You know, not much going on. And today, oh my gosh, I had so much gas. I thought I was going to explode. Um, but I didn't. And then I went out walking and that got things moving a little bit. But I definitely have some digestion issues in this body of mine. Um, I guess it's just going to take a few cleanses to straighten it out. All right, let me grab my squashes here. He doesn't say to, he just says, fill them to the brim with filling. So let's do it. And then, as usual, we're going to go take our walk. Steven's out digging his ditch. So, I should wait till I get back to, to heat these up, huh? Maybe I'll do that. Unless you guys want to see them. You want to see it all done? Why does it always make too much? Because. <laughs> too good. I'm just going to keep piling it on. What else am I going to do with it? <laughs> Just for me. So what are you gonna cook, Kiefer? All right, we'll put we'll stick it in. Into the bread. There we go. All right. Oh, he's a meat eater. You got to see. I don't think I could. I don't think I could deal with meat. I I could make vegan stuff for everybody, but I don't want to make. I don't want to cook an animal, dead animal carcass. Hey, Mona, I just put in the squash. I'm making this stuffed butternut squash from, from uh, Medical Medium. I'll show you the picture. Mine's even piled higher than that. 
Jennifer took off. She had to take the baby to the park. They let, they took off on their bicycles, Mona. They're down in Arizona. Did you ride today? It's too cold for me, but I mowed the lawn, bundled up and, and mowed the lawn and went walking too. Are you going to cook a, a turkey kefir? Raining and cold in Georgia. Ooh. Raining in California. <laughs> Actually, it's been dry here today. Unusually so, because it's been rainy. So, but. I've been meaning to, to do this screen door like for two months. Yeah, I I can't even look at it anymore, Kiefer, at the store. But you have to for his brother, Ruth. Can't can't your hubby make it for him? Maybe give him something to grill or something. Hi, Jean. Relax on TG. What does that mean? What's TG? His brother requested pork. Ooh. Oh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes. Uh oh, gee, does that mean you're cooking big time? Good idea, Annette. Let him do it if he wants it. How many are you going to have, Jean? Six. Wow. We used to do it. Does that, does that help? We did it for his daughter and his son and his son's wife and child. And, and his daughter's husband and his brother and sister, no, brother, brother and sister-in-law. So we had two, four, six, eight, and then my sister, nine, and then his mom and dad, 10, 11. So we, we used to do a, a big one, but we don't do it anymore. Pretty much everybody's gone. His mom and dad passed away. His brother's in Arizona, brother and sister-in-law. His daughter's in Washington, D.C. And his son is over in Buffalo, which Mona knows about. Or now, no, I guess he's moved to Edmonds now. So everybody's got their own thing going now. And our grandson, Stephen's grandson, is like 21 now. <laughs> Maybe 23, because I think he was born in 2000. So he's got his own life. I'm getting, I'm getting tufts of hair. I'm getting, my hair's getting long again. My sister's is growing back a little bit. Her surgery is, is it a week from Wednesday? It's a week from Wednesday. Yeah, give him something to grill. <laughs> Mona's not in California. Mona's in Georgia. Savannah. Yes, Jean, I went in this morning to get my blood work done. Let me check my phone and see if they've... Yeah, Jean is in California. Usually, usually it's up in a couple of hours, but of course not today. Nothing. Check the other one. Nothing. 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 <sighs> 
Squash is halfway done. Well, it says roast for five to ten minutes to serve. Arrange the halves on a platter or individual plates. Garnish with fresh parsley. So it's been in for five minutes. We can have a look here. Mm, it looks pretty roasted. What do you think? Yeah, we'll let it go a little bit longer. We need the rain too, Dina. It's been so dry here. But we've gotten we've gotten lots of rain, so but we need you we can always use more. With all the trees, we just we need it. So not nothing to report yet with the blood work. The falafels turned out very tasty, Kiefer. They were good. I will keep you posted, Jean. Hopefully my B12 has come up with all the things that I've tried. I was going to look to see if I had a picture of my falafels. Here they are. See if I can. Here they are. They were good. I put them on a bed of arugula and spinach. They weren't as round and plump as he did, but they were really tasty, you know, with the spices he put in. He had me put in. So that was good. I'm thinking about making the uh, uh, portobello mushroom soup for the potluck on Sunday. I'm thinking that's what I'll do. That'll be easy. You know, just throwing mushrooms and potatoes and onion and garlic in the pot. And he does it on the stove. I might use the instant pot to make that. I'm still juicing my celery juice every morning. So I still do the morning cleanse. So I get up and I have my 32 ounces of lemon or lime water. Wait 30 minutes. Usually I sit on my cushion and then I do 32 ounces of celery juice or I just use a whole pack of Costco celery and whatever that makes, that's what I drink. And then I, like this morning, well, actually this morning I had my lime juice and I went in, had my blood drawn, came back, had my celery juice. And then uh, we met with Edgar. And then it was probably about an hour later that I had my uh, heavy metal detox smoothie. All right, Mona, go, go tend to your pups. <laughs> this is almost done. Another minute. And it'll be 10 minutes and I'll bring them out and we'll taste it. It looks so good. And it's, you know, such low calorie density. I mean, it's cauliflower for heaven's sakes. So it's bound to be good. It's got some nice flavors in it. Yeah, he doesn't do sauces to go over it. At least so far. I would, I would, I, your split pea soup looked amazing, Gina. And I love it too. Oh, I just love split pea soup. That's a definite winter go to. 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. Give me a thumbs up, guys. <laughs> And comments are good. I guess YouTube loves all that stuff. Come from away. You're going to see the music called Come from Away. I have not heard of that one, Annette. How fun. I love musicals. <laughs> 14 seconds. 
Oh, the light's coming on. My gloves here. All right. Let us see here. There it is. It looks good. Looks really good. Now there is a dinner. Okay, so we're going to arrange and garnish with a little parsley. Let's get a little, a little parsley going here. Oops, someone on the floor. All right. Let's get a little squash in here. Here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Supposed to eat the skin? Mm -hmm. mm. That is good. Savory. It is good. Jay Gry. Jay Gry? <laughs> G R Y. J-G-R-Y. Mm, came in just in time, Jay. I can't stop. <laughs> or I should say I don't want to stop. Okay. Mm. That's definitely a winner. That's going to be my dinner. So. Whoa. I just knocked you off your stand, you guys. Sorry about that. Well, your world cooking show, the basic. Oh, yeah. Carrot, celery, onion, oregano, thyme. Added smoked paprika and one teaspoon liquid smoke to your um, split pea soup. Yum, yum, yum. People hate squash. Oh, I just love it. I did eat the skin of heifer. <laughs> I eat the whole thing. Same thing with kabocha squash. You can eat the skin and everything. It's delicious. And I've got a bunch of those I pulled out of my garden. So I'm going to stuff them with the same stuffing. I mean, it's so simple. <laughs> yeah, I love winter squash, too. I like everything that we make. <laughs> so, which is wonderful because it's all high nutrient, low calorie. So, I got to do my last walk around the block. I did three and a half miles this morning, and then we're going to do two and a half. This afternoon, I actually did a mile on the treadmill because we were waiting for the, the uh, people to deliver the bed. And sure enough, while I was walking on the treadmill, they called. And so I got my mile in, the bed came, and then Stephen and I went out and did our two and a half mile loop. 
And I came back and changed my boots and went up and mowed the lawn. And, you know, before you know it, the day is gone. It's getting dark. <laughs> Days never used to be so short, but they are so short now. <laughs> Thanks, Gina. Well, I'll probably be back on for making the, the potluck meals. And I'll probably make those tomorrow. And I'll talk with Stephen to see which day he wants to fast. Um, yeah, it'll either... I got the potluck on Sunday, so I either have to fast Friday night to Sunday morning or to Saturday night, depending on if I do 24 or 36, or start Sunday night and do Monday. Or we could do next weekend after Thanksgiving. So, heck, I'd, I'd fast on Thanksgiving. So, ah, you got a potluck on Saturday. Okay. So maybe we'll do Sunday. Sunday night. Sunday starting after dinner. That sound good? I'll see if he's okay with that. Because he wants to do it too. So try to coordinate it. And I haven't heard back from Jessie to see if she wants to do it. And, you know, Jennifer did quite a bit already. So, yeah, Sunday night. That's what I mean. Sunday night after dinner. I'll put it on our... our uh, or three-way. Okay. All right. I'm going to head out for a walk, you guys. Oh, Annette, you can do go as long or short as you want. I'll probably do 24 to 36 hours, depending on how I feel, because I just did 18 days of the cleanse. So, but, you know, fasting's different. So I'd, I'd like to do that. So I'll let you know, Annette. Okay. All right, everybody. Have a good evening. I'll be back. I'll be back. And so we'll see you then, I hope. All right.